Hi, this is Paul Howell for Singapore Business Review. And today I'm presenting the Malaysia Technology Excellence Awards for 2020, celebrating the best, the most exciting, the most innovative digital projects from across Malaysia. Winning in the Analytics for Telecommunications category was Idotco Group. And joining us now is its Director of Operations, Azizi Abdullah Aziz. Azizi, thank you very much for joining us and congratulations on the win. Hi, Paul. Uh, before I go on, I just want to thank you for recognizing NAPA and giving us this award. It's a great pleasure to be here today speaking to you. Well, you're very welcome. Uh, tell us first about the winning project itself. This was the NAPA project or Network and Planning Analytics. What was this and, and how has it been implemented? All right. I mean, traditionally, I mean, uh, for tower company, we're going to wait for the operator or MNO, we call it to give us uh, the location where they want the tower to be built. And we are giving us lat long or latitude or longitude. Now, since most of us are practically from Delco, so we know actually why they want it and where they want it. Now, doing this, using this knowledge, we decided to build a solution that will help us to predict and do site planning. And we call the solution NAPA. Now, Powered by geocoding and data analytics, we generate coordinates uh, that are basically going to give us granularity and accuracy. NAPA basically operates by overlaying demand data set and supply data set. This data set then we use by running a matching algorithm to identify point of interest. Uh, we're going to match to the right MNO based on their coverage, strength, and also their subscriber data. Now, on top of that, as a nation builder partner, Idoco Group is committed in helping meet national telecom infrastructure deployment goals and mitigate connectivity issues faced by the countries. This is why we deploy network and planning analytics. And what has all this meant for your organization's customers? All right. Through NAPA, Idoco has been able to provide customers with substantial time saving and also cost saving in the network and also site planning. So, Idoco proactively going to propose the location where the customer should be built. In this case, it's going to be an MNO, right? And uh, we also be able to tell them, we already have a tower there. Now, instead of building a new one, you can come and basically follow in our tower there. So, with these analytics capabilities, we also be, be able to tell them which location going to give them better returns. Now, you can choose high demand, low demand. But end of the day, you need to choose which location is going to give you better returns. What makes Adotco Group stand out from the crowd in what must be an incredibly competitive telecommunications sector at the moment? Adotco aims is to be the top five in the next few years. As such, we need to drive innovation. We need to drive digitization to ensure that the business is future-proof as much as possible while driving operational excellence. Now, Prior to Napa, we have done a lot of stuff. I mean, we use drone to do tower preventive maintenance, to do tower uh, assessments. So we deploy RMS, remote monitoring solution, to basically pull all the information that we have from the tower. Uh, so for us to be able to do better analysis and know what to do before it happens. So we also establish a workflow, automate the workflow that we have um, from the customer end until the site being uh, constructed and completed. So we are towards going toward that, ensuring that all the process that we have, all the works that we need to be doing is done in efficient manners, which means automation and digitization. The technology scene is fast developing in the Malaysian telecommunications industry. What role did that ecosystem of service providers play in the NAPA project? I believe you're aware that recently the Malaysian government has announced right, there's going to be a 3G shutdown by 2021. We're going to expand the 4G coverage and 5G is looming in the future. So there's a lot of things need to be done. And uh, we don't need to ensure that we are ready to support them, those initiatives. So NAPA is going to be a critical point on the whole ecosystem to ensure we are able to deliver those things to our customer and to the nation. 
And finally, Azizi, what does it mean for you and your team to have won at the Malaysian Technology Excellence Awards in 2020? Oh, it is great to be recognised. I mean, Napa was built in-house by internal teams. We also use Pali, our sister's company, to help us try bring all the information together and come up with the solutions. So by having this award, it's truly recognised the capabilities of the team that are developing this and continue developing more, more solutions moving forward. Thank you for this. Azizi Abdullah Aziz, congratulations to you and the team once again, and thank you very much for being part of this video. Thank you, Bill.